this should act as a comprehensive guide on how to search for, set up and join modded servers on DayZ, as well as some troubleshooting for common problems you might face when trying to join a server. Whether you're a seasoned survivor or a newbie, this guide will help you navigate the complexities of DayZ's server system. If you liked the video or find it useful, please consider leaving a like or a subscribe, it genuinely does help me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, and I thought it was only the British who like to drink tea. Starting off, what launcher should you use? Everyone has an opinion on this. I personally recommend a default launcher that comes with DayZ. It's stable, it's clear, and nothing else is really needed. If you do struggle to find a server you want to play on, there are others you can consider to help you connect, such as Magic Launcher or the DZSA Launcher. But I found the all-round best one to be the default. Also, there is actually a lot of benefit to using the default one with regards to stability and troubleshooting. To start, open Daisy's official launcher and click on the servers tab. Each category of server serves a purpose. Favorites shows your favorite servers, which you can add by clicking on the little star next to their name. Recent shows the servers you've recently joined. Friends shows where your friends are currently playing. Official shows servers ran by the game developers, which never require mods unless it's the DLC for Livonia. And community shows player run servers. This is where you'll get the juicy stuff. Once you click on a category, the server list will start to load. You'll notice a number at the top right of the screen indicating how many servers are available. There's a lot. This star, as previously mentioned, is the favorite button. This padlock, when highlighted, indicates a password is needed to enter. This tool means the server has mods on it, which are required to enter. This symbol is the icon for the battle eye, meaning that the anti cheat is working and this green circle just basically shows the health of the server and says that everything is compatible and up to date. To search for a specific server, make sure the community tab is highlighted, then type the server name into the search box. You don't have to type the full name, you can just type in a keyword. If you have the IP address of a server, click on filter. This will allow you to type in the IP as well as a bunch of other search criteria, including things like the map. Clicking on a server will display various information such as the mods it has. Green are the mods you have, red are the missing mods and grayed out is how many mods you need to install. It gives you other information about the server as well such as all this. However, regardless of if the server has a thousand mods or one mod all you have to do to join is click the big red join this will place you on this screen here which will display more information about the server including every mod it has and then just click set up dlcs and mods and join the required mods will start to download automatically now you just have to wait for them to download and then the server will load up it's that simple if you'd prefer to download the mods without joining the server immediately click this close after the mods start downloading but keep the launcher open and they'll download in the background once they're loaded and you do want to join the server, just click join again. And then once more, click set up DLCs and mods and join. And because you've already installed these mods, it'll take you right to that server by loading up DayZ. And this will happen every time you want to join the server from now on. And this is an important one. If you can't find the server when you search, use direct connect in the bottom right. Paste or type in the IP of the server you want and it will directly connect, taking you to this screen right here that allows you to click set up dlc mods and join which i previously showed you how to do however if you want to subscribe to a mod manually for whatever reason one of the ways to do this is the steam workshop type in the mod you want click subscribe and it'll download in the background give it a short while and you're good to go before moving on to troubleshooting there are a few things you absolutely need to know some servers require whitelisting this means you won't be able to join a server until you have been given access this is to stop rule breaking and more easily monitor the server and is absolutely a good thing though it doesn't always feel like it when you just want to play DayZ. It means the admins care so like I say it's a really good thing. Usually you'll need to join the server's discord channel to get whitelisted. Just google the server name and the word discord and they'll usually show up. 
They can be difficult to find sometimes but they are there and then the discord will tell you exactly how to get whitelisted. Most of them are as simple as sharing your steam name so one of the admin can add you to the entry list, formerly known as the whitelist. Next is your profile name. This is actually deceptively important and many players face this issue. Under parameters you can set your profile name. This is how you'll appear in game and some servers do require you to have a name so it's always worth setting this up as soon as you can or you'll join it'll load and then kick you before you enter just make sure it's nothing offensive or you'll likely get banned you also can't use survivor in most cases as this is usually the default name given to players who haven't set one up now on to troubleshooting starting off with the easy one if you encounter issues try validating your game files through steam this often fixes common problems and it's very simple to do but if you have a lot of mods it can take a while so sit back and relax if this doesn't work and your mods are having issues, repair your mods inside the vanilla launcher. This is one of the benefits of using that launcher. Go inside the launcher, right click on the mod in question and click repair. If you want to find your mods to do it manually for whatever reason, on the PC mods are located in a hidden folder in the daisy install file called exclamation mark workshop. Clicking local mod should open it up. If it doesn't just make sure you can see hidden files on your computer. If your mod still isn't working use the uninstall method I explained earlier and then resubscribe to download it. This sounds stupidly simple and I'm sorry for saying it but it genuinely does work a lot of the time so I have to mention it. If you keep getting kicked out of a server or you can't load into one, always read the error message on what mods are being loaded. If it says the word client in the error message, the mod probably needs updating on your end. If it says server, this is probably on the server side and you have to wait for them to update. It. This is quite common after the new update drops but most server owners will do it that day. My recommendation here is to join a different server with similar mods to see if it's on your end. If none of them work either and you think it's your problem and not the server's problem then I recommend following the previous steps I just mentioned. Also just keep in mind that downloading mods can take up a significant amount of memory so every so often if you don't use the server it's always worth deleting any you don't lose. They can eventually amount up to hundreds of gigabyte but for even more useful content and maybe to really help the channel out please watch this video here or for something else watch this one here and as always until next time